striking, isn't it? This is Kepos Column, based on the Roman architectural style of Tuscan. At 115 feet tall, it's the largest folly in South Yorkshire. A folly is a type of building that was mainly used for decorative purposes and was an architectural craze of the wealthy during the 18th and 19th centuries, mainly in the UK and France. Keppel's Column was commissioned by Charles Watson Wentworth, the first Prime Minister from Yorkshire and the owner of Wentworth Woodhouse from 1750 until 1782. Located just outside the village of Scholes, it was on the outskirts of the original Wentworth Estates and is about four miles away from Wentworth Woodhouse, demonstrating just how vast their estates were. It was also built here for its elevated height, as it's situated on one of the highest hills in all of Rotherham. It's made out of ashlar stone, which was very fine stone at the time. It was designed by John Carr, a famous architect during the 18th century who built the stables for Wentworth Woodhouse. Keppel's Column took seven years to build, between 1773 and 1780. It gets its name from the person Charles dedicated it to, Admiral Augustus Keppel. Keppel was a Royal Navy officer, a Whig politician, and a good political ally of Charles. During the American Revolutionary War, Keppel commanded a fleet at the First Battle of Ashant in 1778. His poor management was regarded as a deciding factor as to why the British suffered such heavy losses. As a result of these losses, Keppel was court-martialed, but was later acquitted of all charges on the 11th of February 1779. As Charles and Keppel were both Whigs, Charles took Keppel's personal victory as his own too. Thus, he had this monument built to honour him. It was originally going to be a pedestal with an obelisk on the top and not a column. Furthermore, it was going to be even taller and have a statue of Keppel on top too. But money shortages prevented this. This money shortage also explains why Keppel's column has a rather unique, if odd, bulge in the middle. This is a result from an architectural process called entasis, which meant applying a convex curve in order to support tall structures and make them look straight from afar. Usually, this is done in the middle of the pillar and had already been done to Keppel's column before the height was strapped, hence why it bulges in the middle rather than looking straight. On the 1st of October 1780, the monument was unveiled to the public. On top of the viewing platform at the top of the building stood Charles, Keppel himself, and the 4th Earl Fitzwilliam in front of a roaring crowd. When Charles died in 1782, the 4th Earl Fitzwilliam would inherit Charles' estates, including Wentworth Woodhouse. The impact Keppel's column has had on the local community is quite considerable. The nearby street is named Admiral's Crest after it. It was also used as a medicine. Its height meant doctors would prescribe climbing the daunting 220 steps to get some cardiovascular exercise in there. And the clean air at the top would have also been very good for people living in quite an industrial area. Sadly, by the 1960s, it had become too poor quality to be climbed and was shut off from the public. But do not fret, thanks to local funding, the historic column is set to be reopened for people to enjoy once again and to make the climb that their family members may have done all those years ago.